you just mentioned Rainwater, but is do you feel like Mo Three is more talented than Lil Wayne and Tupac? Fuck no. <laughs> Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. That's what makes shit fun. Like Dallas, and what I was saying earlier, like the Dallas shit's not fun no more. The DFW rap music, mm -hmm. it's not fun. Not saying that uh, people got to come out here and beef and kill. Cause I, a lot of people blame me for that. Like I was the mediator. Yeah, I got a call and they were like, you the new Sean Cotton, man. Uh, uh, something just happened. It wasn't no wild rain. I said, man, get the hell out of my phone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, but it's just like, with, for example, it, and it just happened again, but like, um, Rainwater, Charleston Whitehead came on my platform and said something about rain, right? And rain called me and was like, man, I got to tell you about yourself. I'm like, damn, what? I'm thinking like a hundred different things. Like, what the fuck? Like, he was, how you gonna let Charleston go? And, and that's how shit start because <laughs> everybody wants the last word. Right. Now, me. You wanna come back on now, and say something? Now, Ryan wants to come, and there's nothing wrong with it because, like, I just told Charleston in our last interview, I don't want any false allegations on my platform if somebody can't come speak and defend themselves. Exactly. Yeah. But then it turns into a messy thing where people look at it being messy. When now everybody wants the last word and they keep coming back to your platform, and now you looking like the messy one because it turns into he say she say, so it's like, nah, man. Uh, but I like, like I said, I I, I like what Half Pints doing. I like what Rain's doing. I, are they are they seeing eye to eye or that's Cap? Um, I think uh, right now because you never know with no, Rain. I, I think I think Rain is uh, Rain is targeted like he always do. He seen that's the, he, something that Big D told he said he me seen about something Rain. In the bathroom, he cost what he said. Man, Rain <laughs> is listen. Rain is targeting what is, whatever he's targeting, and he's on a mission. That's all. And and I learned from Big D that you just gotta take him for what he's doing and just let him go where he's going. Think, but you ain't on the bus with what? him. You just riding the wave. I, I don't think, know. Oh, this is fun. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the mixer, the mixer he did yesterday, it just make it brings stuff to life. Like it was a success too. It was yeah, a lot of people in there. It was a success, um, and it just like it just like I said, these artists in Dallas now. Well, period. It's not a lot of entertaining going on. Like when you had Yayo Mo three, like it was just niggas would go live. Like it was just a lot of content being made and. People were like a lot of personality being splashed around. Nowadays, it's a lot of like I don't agree with like saying all oh, artists suck though either. Like that's not something. That's you something. Say. That, yeah, that was something that like was having, said on, on 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 a big platform like yeah, yours. Ha like having having a having a having a, big, having a big platform like you should never say stuff like that because people get discouraged. But I mean, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of artists with the full package. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, the thing is, I wanted to ask you another question about you just mentioned Rainwater, but is do you feel like Mo Three is more talented than Lil Wayne and Tupac? Fuck no. <laughs> Rainwater, shut the, what the Rainwater, shut the up, dog. And NBA Young Boy too. He had yeah, to get he him said, too. Yeah, you he, know, he said NBA Young Boy is more talented than. Tupac uh, got more. He's not more, more talented, more established. That's what yeah. he said. Nah, he nah. Mo three. See, Mo three was good because he could hit every angle. He could make love songs, heartbreak songs. He gonna he gonna tell you the good and the bad. He gonna tell you the consequences. Yeah, you can go kill somebody, but this will come with it. It's not just the one side stories. Um, man, Mo, Mo, Mo three was just a one on one man, and uh, I don't think. Uh, I don't think we'll ever see an artist in the city with that type of backing. Mm -hmm. I think, like, right now, you got the Big X, the plugs is doing this fucking thing. Mm -hmm. Killing it. But it was like, we grew with Mo3. Like, we we seen Mo3 fucked up, bummy, wearing fake designer. Like, we seen Mo3 homeless, saying he was homeless, right. selling CDs. Like, we, we're not going to see that grind no more. And it's nobody's fault. Is this the stage we are in hip hop? The different generation. You can't sell CDs no more. I remember Mo3 slanging CDs. So we'll never get to see, I don't think we'll ever get to see that type of growth anymore um, in, in the DFW, man. And that was, I remember I did the, the Dallas vs. Everybody record and I put all the Dallas rappers on one song. Fat Pimp, uh, Lady Savage, everybody on one record. And I put Mo3 at the end of the record, man. And, he killed they ass. 
I want to ask you about them. I, I, I'm, I got to ask you another question too, because I'm not going to hold you too much longer. But what, um, man, do you think? Do you give me a top five interviewers in in in, in uh, it, just period. Mm-hmm. Top five interviews mm-hmm. viewers. Damn. Top five block in Texas. Do we want to do Texas? Or no, we? period. Okay. Yeah, gotta go, Vlad. He OG. Mm-hmm. Vlad, that's the one you always uplift, and I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I, I like Vlad, man. I do be on Vlad a lot on here. I let yeah. people go in, but it be just because the culture is so it's so parallel and man to it's certain things that like when when he go with a Tyrese and you have to try to pick okay, then you got Kim and Kim for sure gonna come on and give him hell. But I'm like, man, but Slim then Slim Thug mentioned him. Slim the other Thug day. just mentioned him. Like he right. catches a lot hell yeah, he catches he's, some he's, he be catching some boulders. He, he, he yes. said for stop going on, Vlad, because who you was talking uh, to? He, he was talking about now, Boosie. They said Boosie, but he was just I think he was in general with that okay. statement. You know, but you say Vlad because Vlad showed you the game. He right? showed everybody. A lot of people No, I got I ain't gonna lie, I learned a lot from you, but more Cause I came in late. Yeah. I, I watched what you was doing. Yeah. I watched what uh, I watched Breakfast Club a lot. Yeah. If you really think yeah. about it, yeah. I was like, I'm a, I'm for the beat Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. That's who I want to try to. I'm, I'm right. going at Breakfast Club. Right. <laughs> but it was like <laughs> in a way from the South where our people would. But then this was an independent thing, and I mm-hmm. think that's what made me different. But at the end of the day, man, just um, top five. I don't want you to try man, to get bro, out of it, bro. It's really going to be hard because I need I mean, the top five, baby. I like, I like what No Jumper is doing as far as. I like how he, um, it's a lot of people that, uh, I like how, I don't know, I like No Jumper, man. It's a lot of shit that I don't agree with, but I like his format of he brings a team on and now he uh, he's feeding a lot of different people. I, I like that. But they could, AD was over there, but that's my boy now, like yeah. I told you. Um <sighs> I'm surprised they don't wreck out is what I told AD a lot. Like, how do y'all, did with the politics of what y'all dealing yeah. with up there, how do y'all be in the same room? But the business is business. Yeah. I get it, but this thing could spill over they easy. Can. So that was yeah. a thin line right there. You That's even, why I never went you to just no had jumper. one run off on the, no, they just run that. a nigga off. I just talked I to AD that. earlier today. Yeah. Like, and it wasn't even about him. He didn't say nothing about the dude. He said, they, he didn't say nothing about us, E, but like, damn, like, like, but when he seen us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He took off, but, also, no jumper said he ain't beefing with him no more. Yeah. You know, with with with, with AD and him. so that mm-hmm. was hard too. Yeah, I like I like Gilbert Arenas podcast. Gilbert, okay, uh, okay. Uh, Gilbert Arenas, he has a uh, Gilbert Arenas. That's what it's called. That's Super a- dope. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, shout out to shout out to a uh, million dollars worth of game too. Man. That's four. Um, yeah, one more. But it's a lot though. Like I'm on YouTube. Every my girl be like, man, you always on your. I'm just such a student. <laughs> Like I'm just such a student on how can I get better? Better mm-hmm. and like Big D, like Big D was a hell of an interviewer. He, he had the voice. He was serious about. He it. He had yeah. the voice. I love he that was voice. Serious, yeah. About yeah. It. Like that, you know, me and him would talk about things like how y'all be building relationships because I tear relationships up. This yeah, what I mean. <laughs> yeah, because he was, yeah he wasn't good at that. He like man, you keep you keep like me and like me and Faison became tight. Like after yeah. I interviewed him, he was trying to figure out like how you do that, man. But, yeah. To hell, I think he did good with Nate Boom, which it ain't man, much. I mean, look, he did good with that. And the thing is, with man, like we could talk about Big D all day, but after the Nate Boom interview, he was like, "Man, you should interview him." And I'm like, "Damn, bro, you did this your shit at six hundred thousand? Like, mm-hmm. I can't backdoor this." He was like, "Nah, bro, you can do it." And it's just like he was just Big D was so unselfish, like, and like, bro, like, shit, it's it's, it's crazy, bro. Like, Damn but, but, but but with Big D though, I, I like his interviews because yeah, of his. Deep voice, like mm-hmm. he had like a Vlad type of voice, yeah, like a real distinctive voice. A radio what, if, voice. what made you? You said uh, Gil and Wallow. What makes their dynamic? Because they're out of Philly, right? Yeah, they're out of Philly. That's what it is. I forgot uh, about that. Yeah, they out wasn't of Philly. Even thinking about that. No, I thought I, about I, it I, now. I, I just, um, <laughs> I just think they're consistent. I like Funny Marco. Funny Marco, a, that's what I'm saying. I don't so really is have Funny a, Marco. Your number five, because you still. I don't yeah, really. Oh man, you see, gotta you gotta narrow it down. Who's your number five? Is say cheesy number five? No, nah, I don't like he to put myself. You can't in braid yourself. Okay, in that. I know uh, he don't like to do that. Man, this is a lot. Man, it's a lot of platforms. Um, I would put Funny Marco number five because mm-hmm. of his humble beginnings and slowly coming up and academics. I like academics a lot. DJ Academ is dope. I, I've been watching him. Like, I, I've been watching. I, I, I go look up. I'm like, damn, this nigga here. It's like, some of the stuff, like the Sasha Santana thing threw me yeah. off. I talked about that when he we was in Chicago. He has like, a gift of gab, hell? for sure. Like, like, I wish I could stay on streaming all day and just talking about shit. Yeah. And I think I can. I can, but it's just like, 
he just has the gift of gab and the way he <laughs> really does his research and studies and I, I, I respect academics, man. I, I really like I really like how how he's carrying it. You think that you think you could have handled the Sausage Santana situation? You think he handled that the right way? Man, this is yeah. How do you handle that? You it ain't you got to it's a, like <clears throat> like I just said it's an LL with Saucy Santana because it's like let's just say you beat him up. Oh, you beat up a, a gay person, or if you lose from a gay person, you lost to a gay person. Damn. Or uh, you say something out of pocket, you get you get uh you get canceled, canceled. like the baby. That's right. Mm-hmm. So That's there's right. no there's no win there's no wins out of that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.